What is a polytene chromosome? When DNA replication takes place without subsequent cell division, polytene chromosomes may result. These are giant chromosomes comprised of multiple chromatids. Identical chromosome copies, arranged together like strands of a large cable. They are commonly found in the salivary glands of the fruit fly. Drosophila melanogaster, and are regions of active transcription. When was the EPA created and what does it do? In 1970 President Richard M. Nixon, 1913-1994, signed an executive order that created the Environmental Protection Agency. EPA as an independent agency of the U.S. government. The creation of a federal agency. By executive order rather than by an act of the legislative branch is somewhat uncommon. The EPA was established in response to public concern about unhealthy air, polluted rivers, and groundwater. Unsafe drinking water, endangered species, and hazardous waste disposal. Responsibilities of the EPA include environmental research, monitoring, and enforcement of legislation regulating environmental activities. The EPA also manages the cleanup of toxic chemical sites as part of a program known as Superfund. What is the law of independent assortment? This Mendelian principle deals with the prediction of the outcome of dihybrid, two trait, crosses. Such as the traits for seed shape, R equals round and R equals wrinkled, and seed color, G equals green and G equals yellow. If two true breeding plants are crossed, RRGG x RRGG. Then all offspring would be heterozygous for both genes, RRGG, and would be round and green. By crossing these first generation offspring, referred to as the F1 generation. Among themselves, four phenotypic and nine genotypic classes are generated. From this, Mendel concluded that traits are transmitted to offspring independently of one another. In other words, the separation of alleles for one trait does not influence or control the distribution of alleles from the second trait. This law holds true as long as the two traits in question are located on separate chromosomes or are so distant from each other on the same chromosome that they sort independently. When were bacteria discovered? Antony van Leeuwenhoek 1632 to 1723, a Dutch fabric merchant and civil servant. Discovered bacteria and other microorganisms in 1674 when he looked at a drop of pond water through a glass lens. Early, single lens instruments produced magnifications of 50 to 300 times real size. Approximately one-third of the magnification produced by modern light microscopes. 
primitive microscopes provided a perspective into the previously unknown world of small organisms. Which von Leeuwenhoek called animal culls in a letter he wrote to the Royal Society of London. Because of these early investigations, von Leeuwenhoek is considered to be the father of microbiology. Who first suggested that apes could use language? Samuel Pepys 1633 to 1703, famous for his 17th century diary. Wrote about what he called a baboon and suggested that it might be taught to speak or make signs. How is animal behavior studied in the field? Animal behavior is studied by construction of an ethogram, which is a listing and description of all naturally observed behaviors. Behavior can also be studied through the use of manipulative investigations, both in the field and in the laboratory. These behaviors are then categorized. In order to be objective, all observers must record behavior patterns in exactly the same way. Observations can then be statistically analyzed. Who first demonstrated that blood circulates? William Harvey, 1578-1657, was the first person to demonstrate that blood circulates in the bodies of humans and other animals. Harvey's hypothesis was that the heart is a pump for the circulatory system, with blood flowing in a closed circuit. Harvey conducted his research on live organisms as well as dissection of dead organisms to demonstrate that when the heart pumps, blood flows into the aorta. He observed that when an artery is slit, all the blood in the system empties. Finally, Harvey demonstrated that the valves in the veins serve to return blood to the heart. What main carbohydrate is stored by fungi? The main carbohydrate stored by fungi is glycogen, which is also the main storage carbohydrate of animals. This fact suggests that fungi are more closely related to animals than plants which store starch as their main carbohydrate. What are producers and consumers? Producers and consumers are terms used to describe the different roles played by species within. Ecosystems. Producers are those who fix energy that is, they take energy from one source and convert it into a form. Their biomass, that makes it accessible to others within the system, the consumers. Consumer levels are numbered according to their reliance on producers as a main source of energy.
so primary consumers are those that rely heavily on producers, while secondary and tertiary and even quaternary, consumers exploit other consumers as their preferred energy sources. What is the fastest growing land plant? Bamboo, Bambusa SPP. Native to tropical and subtropical regions of Southeast Asia and islands of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Is the plant that gains height most quickly. Bamboo can grow almost 3 feet 1 meter in 24 hours. This rapid growth is produced partly by cell division and partly by cell enlargement. How are carnivorous plants categorized? Carnivorous plants are plants that attract, catch, and digest animal prey. Absorbing the bodily juices of prey for the nutrient content. There are more than 400 species of carnivorous plants. The species are classified according to the nature of their trapping mechanism. All carnivorous plants have traps made of modified leaves with various incentives or attract ants. Such as nectar or an enticing color, that can lure prey. Active traps display rapid motion in their capture of prey. The Venus flytrap, Dionea muscipula, and the bladder word, Utricularia vulgaris. Have active traps that imprison victims. Each leaf is a two sided trap with trigger hairs on each side. When the trigger hairs are touched, the trap shuts tightly around the prey. Semi active traps employ a two stage trap in which the prey is caught in the trap's adhesive fluid. As prey struggles in the fluid, the plant is triggered to slowly tighten its grip. The sundew, Drosera capensis, and butterwort, Pinguicula vulgaris, have semi active traps. Passive traps entice insects using nectar. The passive trap leaf has evolved into a shape resembling a vase or pitcher. Once lured to the leaf, the prey falls into a reservoir of accumulated rainwater and drowns. An example of the passive trap is the pitcher plant, Saracenia purpurea. The Green Swamp Nature Preserve in southeastern North Carolina has the most numerous types of carnivorous plants. What are the problems an animal must overcome to move? In contrast to other organisms, animals are able to move. The two forces an animal overcomes to move are gravity and friction. Aquatic animals do not have much difficulty overcoming gravity, since they are buoyant in water. However, because water is dense, the problem of resistance, friction, is greater for these animals. Many of them have sleek shapes to help them swim. Terrestrial animals tend to have fewer problems with friction. Since air poses fewer problems of resistance than does water. However, terrestrial animals must work harder to overcome gravity.
Do humans really need cholesterol? Cholesterol is an important component in the cell membranes of animals. Cholesterol, a lipid-based molecule, steroid. Actually has two functions, one, to help stabilize the membrane. Two, to maintain membrane flexibility as temperature changes. Normally the human body is capable of producing all the cholesterol it needs. Dietary ingestion of excess saturated fats and cholesterol is currently thought to be the source of the plaque that builds up in arteries and can cause heart attacks and strokes. Dietary cholesterol can be found in all animal sources, including shellfish. Plant phytosterols have the same function as cholesterol found in animals. But they do not affect the human body in the same way. What is convergent evolution? Convergent evolution occurs when diverse species develop similar adaptations in response to the same environmental pressure. For example, dolphins and sharks are descended from different ancestors. But as a result of sharing an aquatic environment, they have similar adaptations in body shape. What is the Superfund Act? In 1980 the United States Congress passed the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act, commonly known as the Superfund Program. This law along with amendments in 1986 and 1990, established a $16.3 billion Superfund financed jointly by federal and state governments and by special taxes on chemical and petrochemical industries, which provide 86% of the funding. The purpose of the Superfund is to identify and clean up abandoned hazardous waste. Dump sites and leaking underground tanks that threaten human health and the environment. To keep taxpayers from footing most of the bill, cleanups are based on the polluter pays principle. The EPA is charged with locating dangerous dump sites, finding the potentially liable culprits. Ordering them to pay for the entire cleanup, and suing them if they don't. When the EPA can find no responsible party, it draws money out of the Superfund for cleanup. What is transcription? Transcription is the synthesis of an mRNA strand from a DNA template sequence, commonly known as a gene. The mRNA is then used as a pattern for building a polypeptide. How is a DNA molecule held together? Although DNA is held together by several different kinds of chemical interactions, it is still a rather fragile molecule. 
the nitrogen bases that constitute the rungs of the ladder are held together by hydrogen bonds. The sides of the ladder, the phosphate and deoxyribose molecules, are held together by a type of covalent bond called a phosphodiester bond. Because part of the DNA molecule is polar, the outside of the ladder, and the rungs. Nitrogen bases, are nonpolar, there are other interactions called hydrostatic. Interactions that occur between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms of DNA and water. The internal part of the DNA tends to repel water. While the external sugar phosphate molecules tend to attract water. This creates a kind of molecular pressure that glues the helix together. What are mitochondria? A mitochondrion, singular, is a self-replicating double-membraned body found in the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cells. The outer membrane of a mitochondrion is smooth, while the inner membrane is folded into numerous layers that are called Christi. Mitochondria are the location for much of the metabolism necessary for protein synthesis and the production of both ADP and lipids. How has centrifugation been used in biological applications? Biologists primarily use centrifugation to isolate and determine the biological properties and functions of subcellular organelles and large molecules. They study the effects of centrifugal forces on cells, developing embryos, and protozoa. These techniques have allowed scientists to determine certain properties about cells including surface tension, relative viscosity of the cytoplasm, and the spatial and functional interrelationship of cell organelles when redistributed in intact cells. What is a variable? A variable is something that is changed or altered in an experiment. For example, to determine the effect of light on plant growth. Growing one plant in a sunny window and one in a dark closet will provide evidence as to the effect of light on plant growth. What are the main types of asexual spores? The main types of asexual spores among the fungi are arthrospores, chlamydospores, sporangiospores, and conidia, from the Greek word konidios, meaning dust. Canidia and sporangia spores are produced from a fruiting body. Neither arthrospores nor chlamydospores involve a fruiting body. Arthrospores, from the Greek term arthro, meaning joint, are formed by fragmentation of the hyphae. Chlamydospores are formed along the margin of the hyphae. They are thick walled spores.
Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies. How did geology influence Darwin? While traveling aboard the HMS Beagle. Charles Darwin read the principles of geology by Charles Lyell, 1797-1875. Catastrophism was the popular theory of the time about the forces driving geological change. Lyell's theory suggested that geologic change was not solely the result of random catastrophes. Rather, he proposed that geologic formations were most often the result of everyday occurrences like storms, waves, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes that could be observed within an individual lifetime. This idea, that the same geologic processes at work today were also present during our evolutionary past, is known as uniformitarian. This conclusion also led Lyell and, before him, James Hutton, 1726-1797, to suggest that Earth must be much older than the previously accepted age of 6,000 years. Because these uniform processes would have required many millions of years to generate the structures he observed. Reading Lyell's work gave Darwin a new perspective as he traveled through South America and sought a mechanism by which he could explain his thoughts on evolution. Which protist is an indicator of polluted water? Euglenoids are unicellular flagellates, many euglenoids are capable of photosynthesis and are autotrophic. They are commonly found in freshwater ponds and puddles. Others do not carry on photosynthesis and are heterotrophic. Often found in water with large amounts of organic material. Euglenoids frequently serve as bioindicators and are found in large numbers in polluted waters. What is the most efficient animal? Efficiency may be judged by a variety of measures. And thus it is difficult to pick the most efficient animal. For example, small animals tend to be much less efficient than larger. Ones at conserving the heat required to run their metabolic reactions. Conversely, many small animals are much more efficient at reproduction. Compare the reproductive output of a roach to that of an elephant. Therefore, determining the comparative efficiency of different animals depends upon what attributes are selected for measurement.
What are the two distinct body forms of Nadarians? The two forms are called the polyp stage and the medusa, plural, medusi, or jellyfish, stage. Polyps generally live attached to a hard surface and bud to produce more polyps and in some nadarians, to produce the medusa stage of the life cycle. These medusi, or jellyfish, drift with the ocean currents or swim by pulsating their umbrella-shaped bodies. Medusi release sperm and eggs into the water, where external fertilization occurs. After fertilization, the embryo develops into a larva that eventually settles to the bottom to become another polyp, thus completing the life cycle. Not all nadarians go through both polyp and medusa stages. Some, such as corals and sea anemones, exist only as polyps. What is bioterrorism? Bioterrorism is the use of biological substances or toxins with the goal of causing harm to humans. Biotechnology can be used to manufacture biological weapons such as large amounts of anthrax spores. However, biotechnology can also be used positively to identify bioweapons. A new faster method of PCR called continuous flow PCR uses a biochip and requires only nanoliter amounts of DNA to detect a bioweapon what tests can be used to determine the presence of lipids A very simple test to determine the presence of lipids is the grease spot. Test. Place a drop of solution on an unglazed, clean sheet of brown paper. Once the liquid evaporates, a spot containing lipids will remain visible. The Sudan 4 test also tests for lipids. It is based on the ability of lipids to selectively absorb pigments in fat-soluble dyes. Which tree that is native to the United States has become extinct due to fungus? The American chestnut, Castinia dentate marsh, was widespread across eastern North America until the early 1900s. This type of chestnut tree made up almost half of the population of hardwood. Forests in central and southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and southern New England. In its entire range, the species dominated deciduous forests, making up almost one quarter of the trees. The fungus Cryphonectria parasitica, commonly known as chestnut blight, destroyed nearly every specimen of the American chestnut tree. What is a biological clock? A biological clock controls a biological rhythm. It involves an internal pacemaker with external, 
usually environmental, cues. An environmental signal that cues the clock for animals is called an Zeitgeber. A German term meaning time giver. Examples of Zeitgebers include light and dark cycles. High and low tides, temperature, and food availability. How do cells respond to steroid hormones? Progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, and glucocorticoids are steroid hormones that are lipid based signaling molecules. After entering a target cell, the steroid hormone binds to a receptor protein and starts a cascade of events that ultimately activates, turns on, or inhibits, turns off, a specific set of genes. What is artificial selection? Artificial selection is the selective breeding of organisms for a desired trait. Such as breeding a rose plant to produce larger flowers or a chicken to lay more eggs. Darwin cited artificial selection as evidence that species are not immutable that is. Unable to be changed by selection. What is adaptive radiation? As populations move into new environments and adapt to those local conditions, there is an increase in diversity. This splitting creates a divergence from the original population. When diagrammed on paper, the new populations appear to be radiating outward from the original like the spokes of a wheel. An iguana in the Galapagos Islands. Because island populations tend to be reproductively isolated from the mainland, they are more likely to demonstrate adaptations that are particular to that island's ecology. What is the difference between a fat and a lipid? Lipids are bioorganic molecules that are hydrophobic. In other words, they do not mix with or dissolve in water. Among lipids there is a category known as fats. Each fat molecule is comprised of a glycerol, alcohol, molecule and at least one fatty acid, hydrocarbon chain with an acid group attached. How does ozone benefit life on Earth? Ozone, a form of oxygen with three atoms instead of the normal two, is highly toxic. Less than one part per million of this blue-tinged gas is poisonous to humans. In Earth's upper atmosphere, stratosphere, ozone is a major factor in making life on Earth possible. About 90% of the planet's ozone is in the ozone layer. 
the ozone belt shields and filters Earth from excessive ultraviolet UV, radiation generated by the sun. Scientists predict that a diminished or depleted ozone layer could lead to increased health problems for humans. Such as skin cancer, cataracts, and weakened immune systems. Increased UV can also lead to the reduced crop yield and disruption of aquatic ecosystems including the marine food chain. While beneficial in the stratosphere. Near ground level ozone is a pollutant that helps form photochemical smog and acid rain. What are chaperone proteins? While most proteins fold spontaneously into their specific conformation, some require the help of other molecules to achieve this. Chaperone proteins guide newly synthesized polypeptides into their functional three-dimensional shape. Why is Rosalind Franklin called the Dark Lady of DNA? Rosalind Franklin, 1920-1958, was a chemist by training. She worked at King's College, London, in 1951 in the lab of John Randall, 1905-1984. Both Franklin and Randall were working on the structure of DNA using the relatively new field of X-ray crystallography. Through meticulous research on the DNA molecule, Franklin took photographs that indicated a helical structure. Randall presented Franklin's work at a seminar where it was then, without Franklin's knowledge, provided to the competitors, Watson and Crick, at Cambridge University. This research was crucial to the detailed description of DNA that was published in 1953. Because the Nobel Prize is only awarded to the living, Franklin, who died of cancer in 1958, did not share the award when it was given to Watson, Crick, and Wilkins in 1962. What are gymnosperms and which plants are included in this group? Gymnosperms from the Greek terms gymnos, which means naked, and sperma, meaning seed. Produce seeds that are totally exposed or born on the scales of cones. The four phyla of gymnosperms are, coniferophyta, conifers including pine, spruce, hemlock and fir. Ginkophyta, consisting of one species, the ginkgo, or maidenhair tree, Cycladophyta. The cycads or ornamental plants, and nidophyta, a collection of very unusual vines and trees. What are the potential uses of stem cells? Stem cells could be used to grow new hearts that could be transplanted without fear of rejection. They could be used to renew the function of injured structures like the spinal cord. They could be used as cell models for drug testing, thereby increasing the speed for finding cures.
Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Effective dog training is based on using the dog's normal behavior to teach it new applications. For example, rewarding Fido when he randomly performs the desired behavior will allow the trainer to eventually generate that response on demand. Theoretically, positive reinforcement can be used at any stage of a dog's life. What are some common culinary herbs? Herbs are often used to enhance flavors in food. They are usually from the leaves of non-woody plants. How can bryophytes be used as bioindicators? Bioindicators are physiological, chemical, or behavioral changes that occur in organisms as a result of changes in the environment. Bryophytes of the genus Hypnum are particularly sensitive to pollutants, especially sulfur dioxide. As a result, most bryophytes are not found in cities and industrial areas. Mosses and liverworts, especially Hypnum cupressiform and Homolaticium sericeum, were used as bioindicators to monitor radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl reactor accident in 1986. How do cells store energy? Plants and animals use glucose as their main energy source, but the way this molecule is stored differs. Animals store their glucose subunits in the form of glycogen, a series of long, branched chains of glucose. Plants store their glucose as starch, formed by long, unbranched chains of glucose molecules. Both glycogen and starch are formed through the chemical reaction of dehydration synthesis and both are broken down through the process of hydrolysis. Do all animals have red blood? The color of blood is related to the compounds that transport oxygen. Hemoglobin, containing iron, is red and is found in all vertebrates and a few invertebrates. Anlids, segmented worms, have either a green pigment, chlorocruorin, or a red pigment, hemerythrin. Some crustaceans, Arthropods having divided bodies and generally having gills. Have a blue pigment, hemocyanin, in their blood. Is IQ genetically controlled? This is actually two questions. First, can intelligence be measured quantitatively? And second, is there a correlation between intelligence and certain genotypes? Both questions can be answered in the negative.
as our definition of intelligence has evolved. It has become more difficult to assign a single number to the trait of intelligence. Therefore, it is almost impossible to demonstrate which gene sequences correlate to high IQ values. Even though our understanding of the genome is broadening, so too is our definition of intelligence. It becomes less and less likely that we will be able to find one or two genes that determine all of the facets of intelligence. Considering the importance of environment in determining phenotype. IQ is most likely a multifactorial trait. What is Starlink corn? Starlink is a bioengineered corn variety that was genetically modified to include a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, which produces a protein, called an endotoxin, that kills some types of insects. Bt endotoxin has been registered as a biopesticide in the United States since 1961. And the Bt endotoxin has been used by organic farmers for biological pest control. The endotoxins only become activated in the guts of susceptible insects. Because of the significant losses to corn crops caused by the European corn borer. Scientists targeted the corn plant itself as a candidate for insertion of the Bt gene. Can cells conduct electricity? Yes. All living cells have membranes that allow them to maintain a difference. In concentration of atoms located on the inside and outside of the cell. Some of these atoms are ions that have a charge. This ability to maintain an imbalance of ions is called cell membrane. Potential and is analogous to the electrical potential of a battery. Why do we have seasons? Seasons are due to two factors, 1, Earth's inclination on its axis, and 2, the distance of Earth from the Sun. Making days longer for the hemisphere that is tilted away from the Sun during any given period. Do all cells divide at the same rate? No, all cells do not divide at the same rate. Cells that require frequent replenishing, such as skin or intestinal cells, may only take roughly 12 hours to complete a cell cycle. Other cells, such as liver cells, remain in a resting state. Interphase for up to a year before undergoing division. There are also cells that exist for a lifetime in a non-dividing state. An example of which would be human brain cells. Who originated the idea called panspermia?
Panspermia is the idea that microorganisms, spores, or bacteria attached to tiny particles of matter have traveled through space. Eventually landing on a suitable planet and initiating the rise of life there. The word itself means all seeding. The British scientist Lord Kelvin, 1824 to 1907, suggested in the 19th century that life may have arrived here from outer space, perhaps carried by meteorites. In 1903, the Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius. 1859 to 1927, put forward the more complex panspermia idea that life on Earth was seeded by means of extraterrestrial spores, bacteria, and microorganisms coming here on tiny bits of cosmic matter. How do the two forms of chlorophyll? Chlorophylla and chlorophyll B, participate in photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, light is absorbed by pigments present in organisms. Chlorophylla is the primary pigment required for photosynthesis and occurs in all photosynthetic organisms except photosynthetic bacteria. Accessory pigments such as carotenoids and chlorophyll B absorb light that chlorophylla cannot absorb. These pigments extend the range of visible light useful for photosynthesis. What is cytology? Cytology is the study of cellular structure based on microscopic techniques. Cytology became a separate branch of biology in 1892, when the German embryologist Oskar Hertwig 1849-1922, proposed that organismic processes are reflections of cellular processes. What is the difference between the root system and the shoot system of vascular plants? The root system is the part of the plant below ground level. It consists of the roots that absorb water and various ions necessary for plant nutrition. The root system anchors the plant in the ground. The shoot system is the part of the plant above ground level. It consists of the stem and leaves. The stem provides the framework for the positioning of the leaves. The leaves are the sites of photosynthesis. Which pathogens are antibiotic resistant? Pathogens that are antibiotic or antimicrobial resistant produce diseases and infections that cannot be treated with standard antibiotics. These microbes have changed and mutated in ways that greatly reduce or eliminate the effectiveness of antibiotic drugs in curing or preventing infections. What is balanced polymorphism?
when a trait exists in several forms within a population, it is said to be polymorphic. Polymorphisms that maintain a stable distribution within the population over generations are known as balanced polymorphisms. Balanced polymorphism can be maintained if heterozygotes. Mixtures of two types have a fitness advantage. When this occurs, both types of alleles are maintained in the population. A classic example of this is sickle cell anemia. Individuals who are heterozygous, HH, are resistant to malaria, dominant homozygotes. HH, are susceptible to malaria, and recessive homozygotes, HH, have sickle cell anemia. Because those who have both types of alleles and who live in malaria prone regions are the most likely to survive long enough to produce children. Both types are maintained in the population at a relatively stable rate. What are the four major types of tissue? A tissue, from the Latin texera, meaning to weave, is a group of similar cells that perform a specific function. The four major types of tissue are epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve. How does deductive reasoning differ from inductive reasoning? Deductive reasoning, often used in mathematics and philosophy, uses general principles to examine specific cases. Inductive reasoning is the method of discovering general principles by close examination of specific cases. Inductive reasoning first became important to science in the 1600s, when Francis Bacon 1561-1626, Sir Isaac Newton, 1642-1727 and their contemporaries began to use the results of specific experiments to infer general scientific principles. What plant native to Central and South America can be used as both a poison and a healing remedy? Chondrodendron tomentosum, a plant that produces curare, has properties that are both healing and poisonous. In both Central and South America the plant has been used by many different Indian tribes to develop a poisonous mixture. The poisonous stems and roots of the plant are crushed and cooked until taking on a syrupy consistency. Indian tribes often dip the tips of arrows and other weapons into the poisonous paste before battle. However, the root of the vine also has healing properties. In Brazil, especially, it is used as a diuretic and fever reducer and is commonly used to treat tissue inflammation. Kidney stones, bruises, contusions, and edema. How is sensory information transmitted to the central nervous system? Sensory information is transmitted to the central nervous system through 
a process that includes stimulation, transduction, and transmission. A physical stimulus, example light or sound pressure, is converted into nerve cell electrical activity in a process called transduction. The electrical activity is then transmitted as action potentials to the central nervous system. Can organisms with more than two sets of chromosomes reproduce? Organisms with an odd number of chromosome sets cannot produce gametes with a balanced assortment of chromosomes. Polyploidy is very common in plants, with 30 to 70 percent of today's angiosperms thought to be polyploid. When a tetraploid, 4n, plant tries to breed with a diploid, 2n, plant, triploid offspring are formed. An example of this is the seedless grape. Who first proposed a model for the plasma membrane? Following the earlier work of Gorter and Grendel on cell membranes, Hugh Davson, 1909-1996, and James F. Danielli, 1911-1984, proposed a sandwich model for the structure of cell membranes in 1935 this model was a phospholipid bilayer between two layers of globular proteins. Since cell membranes are so fragile in vivo, one can only propose theoretical models for their structure. Current techniques still do not permit direct observation of the functioning of plasma membranes. What is the economic impact of fungi? Fungi produce gallic acid, which is used in photographic developers, dyes, indelible ink. As well as in the production of artificial flavoring, perfumes, chlorine, alcohols, and several acids. Fungi are also used to make plastics, toothpaste, soap, and in the silvering of mirrors. In Japan almost 500,000 metric tons of fungus fermented soybean curd, tofu and miso, are consumed annually. Different strains of the rust fungus Puccinia graminus cause billions of dollars of damage annually to food and timber crops throughout the world. What is the most widely cultivated cereal in the world? Wheat is the most widely cultivated cereal in the world. The grain supplies a major percentage of the nutrients needed by the world's population. Wheat is one of the oldest domesticated plants and it has been argued that it laid the foundation for Western civilization. Domesticated wheat had its origins in the Near East at least 9,000 years ago. Wheat grows best in temperate grassland biomes that receive 12 to 36 in 30 to 90 centimeters of rain per year and have relatively cool temperatures. Some of the top wheat-producing countries are Argentina, 
Canada, China, India, the Ukraine, and the United States. What is electrophoresis? Electrophoresis is a technique used to separate biological molecules, such as nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and amino acids. Based on their movement due to the influence 532 of a direct electric current in a buffered solution. Positively charged molecules move toward the negative electrode. While negatively charged molecules move toward the positive electrode. What is the bottleneck effect? The bottleneck effect is a term used to describe a population that has undergone some kind of temporary restriction that has severely reduced its genetic diversity. A bottlenecking event could be an epidemic or natural disaster like fire or flood. It is hypothesized that the lack of genetic diversity among African cheetahs is due to some bottlenecking event in the species past. What is unusual about the fish tapeworm? The fish tapeworm is the largest cestode that infects humans. It can grow to a length of 66 feet 20 meters. By comparison, the beef tapeworm may only reach a length of 33 feet 10 meters. Do plant cells really produce oxygen? Yes, plant cells produce oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Splitting water molecules to harvest their electrons causes the release of oxygen. By submerging a small piece of an aquatic plant in a beaker containing water, one can actually see the oxygen bubbles produced. What is the relationship between ancient plants and coal formation? Coal, formed from ancient plant material, is organic. Most of the coal mine today was formed from prehistoric remains of primitive land plants. Particularly those of the Carboniferous period, which occurred approximately 300 million years ago. Five main groups of plants contributed to the formation of coal. The first three groups were all seedless, vascular plants, ferns, club mosses, and horsetails. The last two groups were the now extinct seed ferns and the primitive gymnosperms. Forests of these plant groups were in low-lying, swampy areas that periodically flooded. When these plants died, they decomposed. But as they were covered by water, they did not decompose completely. Over a period of time the decomposed plant material accumulated and consolidated. Layers of sediment formed over the plant material during each flood cycle. 
heat and pressure built up in these accumulated layers and converted the plant material to coal. The various types of coal, lignite, bituminous, and anthracite, were formed as a result of the different temperatures and pressures to which the layers were exposed. How do muscle cells respond to activities like weightlifting? Weightlifting will cause muscles to grow the size of muscle cells increases. But the body does not actually grow more muscle cells. Rather, weightlifting causes the body to grow more of the thick. Myosin, and thin, actin, proteins that aid muscle contraction. This process makes the muscle not only bigger, but stronger as well. Some muscles gain strength faster than others. In general, large muscles, like those present in your chest and back, grow faster than smaller ones, like those in your arms and shoulders. Most people can increase their strength between 7 and 40%. After 10 weeks of training each muscle group at least twice a week. How do songbirds learn to sing? Through analysis of many bird species, Ethologists have found two major types of song development. 1. Imitating the songs of others, particularly adults of the same species. And 2. Invention or improvisation of unique songs. Observations of male song sparrows, particularly during their first month of life show that when the birds arrive at a new habitat, they memorize the songs of the males in that neighborhood. What is the light source for a spectrophotometer? Most commonly, a spectrophotometer uses white light as its light source. White light is a combination of all visible wavelengths. Ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths may also be used. How were the White Cliffs of Dover, England, formed? The White Cliffs of Dover are composed of a variety of protist fossil shells. Including coccolithophores, a type of algae, and foraminiferans. The shells of dead foraminiferans are deposited on the bottom of the ocean and go on to form grey mud. The grey mud is gradually transformed into limestone, chalk. Geologic uplifting brings the formations of limestone up to land. What is parasitism? Parasitism is an interaction in which one organism the parasite, co-opts the resources of another organism, the host. By definition, 
the host is hurt by the association while the parasite benefits. Parasitism can be physical, like the parasitic worms found in the internal organs of animals. Or social, like the brood or nest parasitism found in some birds. In these species, resident birds are tricked into incubating the 340 eggs and raising the chicks of interlopers. What factors have contributed to the success of seed plants? Seed plants do not require water for sperm to swim to an egg during reproduction. Pollen and seeds have allowed them to grow in almost all terrestrial habitats. The sperm of seed plants is carried to eggs in pollen. Grains by the wind or animal pollinators such as insects. Seeds are fertilized eggs that are protected by a seed. Coat until conditions are proper for germination and growth. Seeds are also dispersed by wind or animals. What are two of the most common forms of dementia? The term dementia describes a group of symptoms that are caused by changes in brain function. The two most common forms of dementia in older people are Alzheimer's disease and multi-infarct dementia. Sometimes called vascular dementia. These types of dementia are irreversible, which means they cannot be cured. In Alzheimer's disease nerve cell changes in certain parts of the brain result in the death of a large number of cells. The symptoms of Alzheimer's disease range from mild forgetfulness to serious impairments in thinking, judgment, and the ability to perform daily activities. In multi-infarct dementia a series of small strokes or changes in the brain's blood supply may result in the death of brain tissue. The location in the brain where the small strokes occur determines the seriousness of the problem and the symptoms that arise. Symptoms that begin suddenly may be a sign of this kind of dementia. People with multi-infarct dementia are likely to show signs of improvement or remain stable for long periods of time. Then quickly develop new symptoms if more strokes occur. In many people with multi-infarct dementia, high blood pressure is to blame. Which organism has the least number of chromosomes? The organism with the least number of chromosomes is the male Australian ant. Myrmshia pilosula, with one chromosome per cell. Male ants are generally haploid that is. They have half the number of normal chromosomes while the female ant has two chromosomes per cell. Bacteria have one circular chromosome consisting of DNA and associated proteins. What is a calorie?
there are actually two kinds of calories. Ask a chemist and you will learn that a calorie, with a lowercase c, is the amount of energy, heat, required to raise 1 gr, 1 ml, of water by 1 degree Celsius. A nutritionist, on the other hand, would describe a big C or kilocalorie. Kcal, the amount of energy required to raise 1 kilogram, 1 L, of water by 1 degree Celsius. The Kcal is the unit used to describe the energy value in food. For example, if a chocolate chip cookie is completely incinerated, the amount of heat energy released would be enough to raise the temperature of 1 L of water by approximately 300 degrees Celsius. However, as this system adheres to the laws of thermodynamics, the conversion is not totally efficient. Only about 25% of energy actually performs cellular work. Why is the white birch known as paper birch? The outer layer of the birch tree grows in sheet-like layers. Hence it has been known as paper birch. It is the same tree that Native Americans used to make paper birch canoes. What is the largest group of vertebrates? The largest group of vertebrates is fishes. They are a diverse group and include almost 21. 000 species more than all other kinds of vertebrates combined. Most members of this group are osteocytes, or bony fishes, which include bases, trout, and salmon. Do all cells have a nucleus? Prokaryotic cells do not have an organized nucleus. Most eukaryotic cells have a single organized nucleus. Red blood cells are the only mammalian cells that do not have a nucleus.